Hello, there is Impossible Creations and welcome in the second part of Procedural Generation Grid Fundamentals tutorial video. And this part will focus on adjusting third-party models to use them with PGG system. And you don't need to have the same asset as I use in this tutorial. You can use any other modular architecture package. Let's go! And again, let's start with designer window. Dock it. Center scene view in advanced mode. Go back to beginner. Add field setup and call it field setup tutorial 2. Add first field mod and call it flow. Dock window and find prefabs to spawn. I will use here prefab called floor 4x4. Add spawner for it. And let's change scale of grid cells since the tiles are size of 4 units. And you probably notice that tiles are not fitting inside cells. That's because the tiles origin is not placed in the center as previous tutorial models. Check this out. These tutorial flow models have origin in left forward corner. We can solve it in a few ways. Let me show you a few approaches. First one will be using flow placer node. We can host to offset tiles by half of the cell size left and forward and then it's looking correctly. That's one of the solutions. Remove this rule, generate again and let's add just node to offset position of each tile by two units. But if you will need to rotate the flow tiles on grid, I recommend to use change rotation pivot node, which will ensure you can rotate tiles without unwanted offsets out of grid cells, like you see on this example. So you can switch from offset node to change rotation pivot node, adjust values, and now you can rotate tiles correctly as pivot would be in the center, which can give you nice randomization possibilities. Alright, now let's add field mode for walls. Rename it, find wall prefab. Well, this prefab looks like this. So you notice it also has pivot in the corner and not in the center as models in previous tutorial. And we will use wall placer to distribute them on a grid. Spawn on each side to fill corner gaps. Now it can be hard to understand what's going on, but don't panic, just change rotation value and search for something which starts looking correctly. Ok, it seems it's right angle, but walls are reversed. So let's set here minus 90 degrees. Let's switch offset from units to cell size and let's offset wall prefabs by half of the cell size in different direction to find the correct ones. And that's it. You could check model orientation to do it without guessing if it's X or Z, but guessing is faster for me, so... Okay, walls are ready. Now let's add some lighting to this room. So add new modificator, call it lighting. Select it, find torch prefab. Yeah, it looks like this. Add spawner. And there we will use get coordinates node to align torch with walls. Let's write wall tag, but nothing happens because we're not tag wall spawner yet. So let's do it. Now let's move back to the torch and prevent it from spawning if there is no wall. Now let's correct position and rotation. Here you see the torch spawn in the corner of wall. That's correct. It's spawning in wall's pivot position. It is also rotated to side as wall orientation. So first let's fix rotation. Okay. Worth to mention, if you leave fixing rotation for later, it can be hard to handle, since we will adjust position using direction of the model rotation. So after adjusting positions, every change of rotation will be disturbing and you will need to adjust positions again anyway. Don't forget we're using here local space offset. I will switch from units to the cell size. 
So move it a bit more than half of cell size higher. Let's check how it looks. So torches are on the walls, but in corners. So let's move them to the side. And let's make sure it's the right side. Sometimes it's tricky. Seems to be correct, but when you do overview on the whole structure, you see it goes out in a wrong direction, like here. Cool, now let's implement torch separation. Set tag. Add cell distance rule. Use here tag. And it's done. Okay, I think we will add also barrel prop in this modificator. So let's rename it to props. Find barrel prefab. Add spawner. And let's place it in a room under the walls with check cell neighbor node and do some offsets. Well, if you don't know what's going on here, please check the first tutorial. Ok, I will not change rotation of the barrels, let's add direct offset node. Oh, actually we will need the rotation to offset each barrel against the wall direction, so let's find correct axis for the offset. Alright, let's add a bit of randomization for the positions. Oh, this will be enough. Now let's limit spawning count for the barrels. But let's say we don't want to spawn a few barrels in a row. Let's separate them with distance rule. But here we can use name of spawner instead of using tag. Just to show you, you can do it this way. Uh, set separation distance to two cells. Can you write name? And here it is. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Ask in the comment section if something is not clear for you. Leave a like, subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.